Hello everyone. Today we are looking at a Fender amp. This amp is from the 1950s and it's known as the Fender Champ. Uh, the model actually is uh, F51. Uh, according to the uh, plate on the front there, the uh, Fender amp here was made in Fullerton, California. California. Did I say that right? California. Quite an old amp. Uh, this belongs to my cousin Danny. He's home visiting from Ontario. He mentioned the amp to me um, about a year ago. And he said he would bring it home for me to look at. So here it is. Uh, apparently it's a well sought after amplifier. And we're just going to have a little peek at the, uh, the, uh, the amplifier and just see how little is in the amp. But... Uh, very popular amp indeed. Now you'll have to excuse the uh, shadow of the uh, camera, but uh, here you'll see uh, a nice leather strap, uh, real old fashioned way, the old school way of making a strap. Uh, as you can see, probably here, the actual fuse holder, not the, the fuse holder itself, but the fuse uh, cap that would take the fuse and lock in place is missing. He had that, but the kids unfortunately unscrewed it and lost it. And uh, this is your uh, light that indicates whether it's on or off. And you have the on off button here and volume button built into one. And you have channel one and channel two. Uh, channel one is a bit higher than channel two. And uh, so basically, uh, when you think of it, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen an amp before that never had tone or bass, mid, and treble. But this is it. What you see is what you get. Input. On, uh, on switch and volume. And it's a tube amp. Let's have a look at that. Now here, as you may be able to see, and uh, again I apologize about the lighting in here, but uh, let me try this. You'll use a flashlight. You'll see uh, three tubes here. Uh, one, two, and three. Now uh, you'll also see back here in the back there an 8-inch speaker, which is uh, original. Even the dust is original, I think. Pretty dusty. I just want to draw some attention to, if I can, let me try to zoom in here, on the actual electronics of the day. This is 1950s electronics. What you're looking at here is the, um, the fuse holder. Uh, this is the light bulb uh, unit here. It tells you if it's on or off. Uh, and this is your volume button here, and your two inputs, which are right here. And you're looking at uh, some very old capacitors. And uh, surprisingly, they look pretty good. I'm not so sure about the stuff sticking out of these two. Uh, I don't know if that's leaking or... Yes, yeah, it looks like a bit of dirt or something coming out of those caps. So it's possible <coughs> it may need to be... Um, Recapped. Uh, you can see there's dust uh, that's spewing out of these two caps that I can see. The rest seem to be fine. And there's some uh, resistors in there. Uh, transformers over here, of course. Uh, it has the original cord. Uh, two prong, not even grounded, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, okay. I had to look at the camera. That's the original cord there. And uh, I would say, uh, right off the word go, this was uh, in a home of a smoker, because it smells a lot like smoke. I want to pay, uh, uh, get you to pay some attention to the color here, and here compared to the outside. This is the original color, and I'm thinking, just thinking now, that if this was uh, cleaned up with some uh, metal hydrate, uh, it would probably get rid of the darkness, the, what they would say, uh, the tobacco, the staining, whatever it's called, uh, it's uh, it's in relatively good shape and it's all original. I'll see if I can get into uh, the side sticker that uh, reveals the uh, component, uh, the tubes, which is down there, as you can see, on that curd. Now I don't know if I can zoom in for that. I may be attempting something that's uh, brutally hard to do. Here we are. That's the uh, sticker, and it says a uh, model S 
No, sorry, 5F1. I may have said that wrong when I first uh, mentioned this, and it's the Champ Amp Production 77. Uh, I think that says 4A, so that must be an identification of a of a time and place. Anyway, folks, that is the Fender Champ Amp. And all its glory, let me zoom out. Here. <laughs> That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, this is for sale, by the way. I'm pondering about getting it. Uh, on eBay, they're going for $2,500 to $3,000 plus. Some even as high as thirty-two, thirty-three hundred. dollars uh, It's my cousin Danny owns it. I'm going to see if I can work a deal. If not, what you're going to do. The number on this is... What is that? C19400. I would say that's the serial number. Thanks for watching.